And we are just about to get ready for game two of this best of three series between Pro 8007 and Mitch Flower Power. Still not totally over that first race. Holy smokes, that was something. And we are just about to get underway for game two. Where are we starting? Or rather, where are we dropping? Well, we'll find out here in a second. We already had chat, you know, make predictions. So let's see. Where are we going to start? You know what? I'll go with three. Oh, I, was, I caught it right before it, but, you know, we're starting in with two this time. And in 5-5. Five, five. Not, not, not a good at friendly enemy set either. Oh, God. These enemies. <laughs> All fire related. In a way. Yep. It says... A certain Dragon Force song says, Through the fire and the flames, we carry on. Force 6 next. Interesting thing about this level is if you don't like the enemy set, just enter the door and you get another enemy set. Hopefully one better. Yep, yeah, if you deal with a boss pass, well... Let's go through that door. Just hope you don't deal with another boss pass. Or an angry son. <laughs> and our first hand stage this time around is the Hammer Brother one. Yep, that first Hammer Bro. Know... <laughs> yeah, that Dude, first Hammer Bro wanted no part of this. Like, nope, I'm jumping by. Just mushroom. a mushroom is the item this time around, but that can be very helpful. Mitch is thinking about it and going in. It's the world one for it, so you could still get an item out of here. Well, probably can. Mitch, it depends on the next item. Nope, not the case. And Mitch just clips through the wall, and he's gonna up. Is he gonna have enough? No, he just didn't have enough time to get the bro, the upside down orb. So close. <laughs> just not enough time to pull that off, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been epic. Yeah, if anything, Mitch focused more on the NMG and getting the world records. Oh, we got a second hand stage. Cheap, cheap. Out of lava. Yeah, these would be fiery cheap cheeps in Mario Maker, but thankfully that's not the case here, because otherwise that could get rather painful very fast. Yep. Okay, so let's give a quick rundown of what does get randomized as we're in the World 6 airship. Randomized in this flag set, you have your stages randomized, not just what they are, but their location, as well as the location of the pipes, and the forts, and their locks, and sometimes you get a bridge in the way. Enemies are randomized within most of the levels. I say most, because there are a few exceptions. Auto-scrollers are turned off. With two exceptions, which we have got into one of those last race. Hopefully we don't yet see that again, because the other one is a long one. We don't want to see that, which we'll call Atlantis. Yep, aka the Lost Auto Scroller. As for what doesn't happen, hammers don't break locks, they only break rocks. And because we've already seen World 2, that's only going to help in 3, 4, and 6. Plus, we're not randomizing end cards, we're not even having them in this flag set. As the king is quoting Arnold. 
And we got a cloud from Peach. So that's going to be helpful, I believe. Very. And both players having firepower against these hammer bros, also helpful. Also oh. worth noting that as we're in the Navy, that I am mesmerized by how fast Mitch is able to mash the buttons on a controller. I can't do that. Nope, not, not even I can. There's only a few others across all the gaming communities that can mash that fast, and there's only a handful of them that I can think of offhand. I'll leave it at that. That was not the right floor. So we gotta go. They both took the same path, so. It's still a close race. Still having fire here is gonna be helpful because those enemies on bottom, some of them can generate lag, especially if you get a nanny blooper down there. Because, ugh, those lag the game so horribly. Mitch taking a different route, going 6 8. And it's ground for it to get out of World 5, rather, Giant Land. However, in terms of routing, the advantage is Mitch's because he played 6-8, he doesn't have to go back for the pipes. Nope. All I had to do is turn around and just head to the castle while Poro has to go around to the pipe and maybe fight some Hammer Bros for items. Because one of them dropped a hammer. Yep, absolutely. And that hammer could prove big in World 6. Now, where that hammer would have saved time is right above the spade on Proe's side. But in this type of flag set, I view that as more situational than anything. And Proe is already hitting the Gamblematic 9000, not bothering with the hammer bros. So just like Glass Seed, Mitch is going to have a one hammer advantage. But it didn't matter much last seed. Will that be the case this time? I don't know. Jury's out. Yeah, we already got an Earthquaker. Let's see. How many Baconators? Three. Eh. Fed a light amount of bacon. Yep, if it's all five, that means that Koopaling might have taken out Ganon. Probably. Yeah, you already know. Ganon loves his bacon. We already yeah. know World 5 does not require playing the fort in the sky, because that lock is completely useless. And Mitch does have an advantage heading into 7 2. It's with that tail, he's able to go over the gap and not have to make no blocks. Otherwise, there is a very difficult piece speed setup that you can go for. It's just butts, in my opinion. That is a negative to chat, as the hammers will only work on the boulders that they were intended to work on. Yep, Mario lost his ability to break locks. And lost the ability to stuff out the end card games, which, well, no longer a thing anymore. Here. It's 4F2. The tail's gonna help here in this first section. You don't necessarily have to wait for 
the enemy in the bottom to get out of the way, but it was a dry bone, so it didn't matter all that much. Yes, the vanilla enemy is better there. I see what you did there, demon. <laughs> that was a good one. I agree. Uh, I see fire bros. And the hitbox on fire bros is very weird. As you saw, hit the, she basically hit the fire bro from underneath. For whatever reason, it t doesn't take them out, yet other times, you jump on the one below or hit the block and they both go down. It is extremely weird. Yep, they are. So wonky. And Mitch just flew away. <laughs> and Mitch skipped over the 5-3 beta. While the fort might not be necessary, it's literally right in their path, so... Well, we shall see what works with that, as Mitch Flower Power is in the 7-3 beta. Which I like to call Rolling Hills, because there are a lot of hills in this level. And Mitch and... missed the jump. Well, in that pit is a sky blue Mario. And Pearl got a nice getting fireworks two for up. the mushroom. That's two lives. Yep, two up for three of a kind on the mushrooms. The fire flowers three and the star is as Pro A007 would call it the five star frog splash. And we almost had that right on cue, but Mitch was not going for that. Mitch, he ruined it. And so oftentimes we get the forts of a world paired with each other. We get that in World 5 as we're in 4F1. I managed to sneakily get him past everything there. point I'd say Pro is about stage, stage and a half behind as Mitch is heading into the airship and it's the World 4 airship. Yeah, about a stage and a half. Having the tail here does make the movement much easier. I jump on Roy this time. And a five Roy hit. To, yeah, Roy came to play four HP. Let's see what the king has to say this time. Pretty good paraphrasing there. Ch even, albeit changing up just one word. <laughs> Goombas. That is so true. Interesting setup for this World 6. You have two forts right there. Mitch goes for the one that's in the direct path, but then gets burned by a very rude hot foot. Oof. That was- that alpha was so much rude. <laughs> I like the strategy Mitch is doing here, just taking the star man through the lower section. Like, that's what I used to- what I've been doing on Desert Fort since I was a kid, because I figured it was easier, and it turns out it also happens to be faster. Meanwhile, Proe is out of his third world. If yeah, we just have our world behind, not too bad. 
that broke something farther farther in. But one, and we're not going to see a power-up play here either, because it's just too far out of the way. It's not worth it. Proe entering the other fort. It's Fort Knots, and Proe, with the tail, is going to get through here really quick. The question is, will this be required? If so, Proe has a bit of an advantage. Well, we'll find out here in a minute. Mitch has that... Mitch still has a hammer. Oh. Nope. It was the lock. That was close by. Not a bad play from Proe. I like it because that's something I would have done myself. But in this case, it doesn't pay it lay out unless 7 turns out to be a very short level. Or it's 1-3 with a hammer, and Mitch fails down the pipe at the first sight of Boss Bass. Can't blame him. Nope. Boss Bass got his lunch last seed, so... Will Boss Bass get a lunch? This time! Actually, he got two lunches last time. Yep, same level 2, same ambush. And that seventh stage was 1 5, which Pro A is going through right now. See, I like this move because it's not terrible. Hi, Boss Bass again. Hi, Boss Hi. Bass. Because Mitch ducks right down the pipe, and this is where you gotta be careful in this 3 9 beta because this section's not flooded and enemies galore. In this case, a lot of paragoombas, including some that can't fly. And Mitch, of course, avoids a 5 up, just gets one. Because he doesn't need to waste a little bit of time. For a five up. And we found five nine again. I know I think Mitch does have a cloud he hasn't used, but he is opting to do this level. Thought this was at the five ten at the six ten spot, which in that case I would have taken a death and played the other level, but that's just me. If you got multiple levels to pick from just jump in the pit. But that's me, but some runners might just opt to, like, you know what? Let's do this level. We're in it. I don't want to lose it alive. Yeah, also, Coin Heaven doesn't have the auto scroller turned off either. Well, that's because it's coin head. We got Ward 1 airship here. Hmm. And the shrimp goes down in two while Proid finds 8 2. Hmm. Mitch might have been right this time because. I think it's about the same time if you die towards the end of 8-2 to go through 5-9 once. But, that, but that's just my guess. And we get ourselves a Dirty Harry quote. Go ahead, make my day. Ooh, and she and Peach will give a nice, lovely start. We got two pipes to start with in here in Pipe Maze. Now you just need to find the right lock. Well, you find the right pipe fast. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> a hilarious game. <laughs> that was the right pipe, too. Meanwhile, Proe is going for some barbecued shrimp. Let's try this other pipe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, we're gonna have... The submit doesn't get lost here because... For all the seven, you tend to get lost. Pipes, pipes, and pipes. Anywhere you go, you find a pipe. But will this be the... <laughs> fort that needs to be beaten? We will know soon enough because the other lock is right above it. And I'm sorry, Mitch, but unlike the vanilla game, that block does not give a star. Moment of truth. It broke it. And as our runners high five in the pipe. The Mushroom Kingdom high fives. Not to get confused with the Hyrule high fives, but you know. We're in the Mushroom Kingdom. They got a different type of high fives. And World 7 Airship at the end of World 7. Chat, that is your cue. I do like the P-Wing play. But will Mitch get the one grab from the top? Find out at the end of the uh, at the end of the coupling. And it's a one-hit earthquake coupling too. Oh, he missed it. Mitch, you owe me five dollars for that. <laughs> but just, anyways, no, I'm just joking there. But you know, Pro missed it earlier, so it's fair play. They both had out to miss it once here and there. King me again. Either that king's good at playing checkers or something. We got world three here, so process of elimination. Well, you know what's last. Besides world eight. Mitch is going for P speed here in 1 6, which isn't a bad idea technically, but it would have been faster to take the ride. The stars used when entering a stage only last the length of time as a regular star man, so unfortunately, that's not a thing. And it's 6 9, and Mitch is not going for the wall jump. Hmm, I'm surprised about that. Because I've actually seen him do that wall jump before. Yeah, I think I remember getting that by complete accident one race. Saw that I got it, so I just went for it again, and bingo! And here's a problem with a star, man. Those flip jumps keep Mario from entering the pipe. Yep, the only way you can get in the pipe going upwards is if you have P-Speed. Or our small Mario. Or, yeah, we're small Mario, obviously. Oh, I think that's also true for Frog Mario, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that is right, and we got a 4-2 with a boss pass and a cheap cheap. Oh, and Mitch got eaten! <laughs> Tonight, we dine on Mario soup. <laughs> there was our counting at home, that's three fish. Make that four. Mmm. -hmm. Mario was. Proe taking an intentional death here. I believe he's going to P Wing. Nice shot by Mitch to take out the boss bass. Yep, Proe did exactly what I thought he would die on purpose. Use the P Wing to fly up and over that mess because he ain't got time for that. No, he doesn't. But will Pro uh, avoid the boss bass? This guy's hungry. You never want to mess with the boss bass. Never. Because if you do, 
Odds are, well, you're gonna get even. Yep, mess with boss pass, you're gonna get got. And we've got World 8 Fort. Now, here's the interesting thing about the forts in this World 3. They're not necessarily required to clear the world, but you might have to clear a lock out of the way, or a fort out of the way, just to get to where you need to go. Yeah, well, I think, was it last seed? There was a lock just in front of the castle, so... I love it when it's like in a castle. Oh, and Mitch it, just missed! Alright, he got... I think he got robbed by a frame on that one. And Mitch is trying to get this clip. Yeah, it's first time it, it spat him out, second time let him through. Probably on the other hand, using a cloud, this is a gamble. And not quite, but now we know what pipe's the right pipe. Yep. Oh, that was so close getting that star, but it gets it right before the part yeah, of it. Almost for, yeah, that was almost a frame perfect hit, and grabbing the star would have been like that frame perfect. That that somebody clipped earlier. Not in this race, mind you, but on a practice one. Just an evil son, angry, just hanging out in the corner, <laughs> doing nothing. Mitch is the correct path and is on his way. Yep, we still got two worlds left. <laughs> and you know, with world eight at the end, hi Wendy, how you doing? You were much stronger this time with four oh, hits. And Mitch doing an excellent job stomping on Wendy before she can even get the rings off. Yep. Well, Wendy did eat this time around. Probably got hit, but that's okay. And the lock is in the way again. And we got Need one in the spot. As you see, same enemy set. Maybe the piranhas are a little bit different. Could be, but I don't think they are. Yeah, but you can get enough enemy activity in this lower area where you actually do spawn something. I've seen it happen. I believe King's message from World 6 was basically how a kid would say that, if I had to guess. Yep. I just noticed when Pro got the item from Peach, it was a hammer suit this time. So, we That's got a hammer suit. And you know they're going to save that for King Bowser. Absolutely. I mean, the only other time I can think of a hammer suit getting used was like my last tournament race where I didn't have a choice. I was on zero lives. I was not taking a game over. Now, is Pro going to go for 6F2 fly and hold or in part? Well, he's got the first part. It's the second part. And he d loses it before the third part. I don't blame him, because if you get hit in that any part of that and you're not over land, that's a pitfall. Yep. I think I had a practice seat or something. I get the first two and... Oops. I found a pit. 
Yeah, I've got. Yeah, I think I'm at the point where I'm just doing the first two parts of 6F2 Fly and then bailing out. Because you save a lot more time doing it that way than trying to go for all three and dying. Hi, Corbin, your shoe just falling. <laughs> well, we know where the other shoe dropped. Right down the chasm. I like to see a scene where somebody will grab the Kruger shoe and just use it. Just because, why not? I would actually laugh if someone did that. And Pro is going to skip the level that Mitch cleared. So, Proy actually... Ooh, this is too close to call at this moment in time. I'm gonna reserve that for when we get out of this world. Yep. <laughs> May just grab another flower. Oh, he doesn't need it. He's Mitch Flower Power anyway. So he has to grab all the flowers. Ferrara grabs the one at 30.46. Mitch grabs it at 30.52. So about six second difference. Ferrara in the lead. This could go either way. Yeah, it's definitely close enough as we enter World 8 for it to go either way. Is Poi moving on to round three? Or are we having a game three? Both of them have, does have a hammer suit and a frog suit. Just in case you want to use a frog suit. We got a couple pipes, but you know what? Let's do the underwater fortress first. And Mitch is going to pick a pipe. This is a gamble. I assume he's looking for lots of... We see there's two on the hand bridge. Eh. Well, honestly, I like this play by Croy. Just, you're right there. You might as well take care of business that right then and there so you don't have to go back. Hey, if you so see... Mitch, so, Mitch, so Mitch has come the long way around and is being forced into 3F2. Well, not really, but that's where the routing took him. So by that he fell a hair behind, but Mitch definitely has the execution skills to be able to make a deficit up, so this is not over yet, folks. No, it's not. And Pura is taking out this fort, which we got to Air Force. And sadly, like we said before, hammers are not really useful now, so... But they're not useful in 8. Door 6-4 for Mitch. He's not going for the one-frame door 3, and Pro is in right behind him, so... Yeah, I've, I've tried a one frame door trick. Nope. If yep. I feel way behind, if I feel like I'm way behind in a race, why not give it a ch chance? And I broke a lock over there. <coughs> However, Mitch goes this way. Oof. Well. Game, that's just you being a pooper. Okay, so the answer's in the dark maze, and it starts with a mandatory 3-5. Probably taking an intentional death, he must have a P-Wing or something. Oh, he's going back. Okay, this World 8 just doesn't want to bend to anybody's will right now. Nope. It doesn't matter if you have a cloud or not, I don't think you can skip this level anyway, so... Nope, this level's hard required. I'm pretty sure anybody can get lost in this particular world. 
Hey, he's pulling out the frog suit. Ribbit. Not a bad idea to swim through this level, although pee-winging over it is faster. The frog suit is definitely the second fastest method by far. Getting close to that cheap cheap. I want up block. How you doing over there? And he get, commits to it and gets through it while Mitch swims right into Mama Bass. Now, I still think Mitch ha still has that cloud, but he hasn't used it yet, but is he going to use it? Mitch found the path. It looks like game two is going to be Mitch's with a very anti clay Mac either. A very anticlimactic gatekeeper, or Mario is doing his best Metal Gear and stealthing it. And Mario's going to be right behind him, too. Proe is right there, a stage behind as Mitch puts on the hammer suit enters Bowser's castle. We could be moments away from having a game three as Mitch hits the clip. Yep, just don't get waffled. Cause that could cause you. Oh jeez, he, he just about did get waffled. I don't know how he avoided that. But yeah. good on Mitch for dodging that. If Mitch would have got waffled there, it would have been up to Pura to keep the hammer suit and fly through this level real fast. Uh, Meanwhile, like... Mitch has already sent Bowser off to the dentist, and this matchup to a Game 3. Get your GG's in chat, everybody. Our Game 2 winner is Mitch Flower, who finished through the door and done with an official SRL time of 36 minutes, 37 seconds. Yep. This seed was a little bit faster than that first one, and we got another one. And a little bit nicer, too, I might add. Now, Para makes it Bowser. Just makes a few hit. Never mind. I think Proe thought he had him, but not to be. And just wait for Booza to jump a few more times. Yep, at this point, it's a few more times before Proe sends Bowser back to the chiropractor. There we go! Proe sends Bowser back to the chiropractor for the same tailbone injury. As we are headed off to a Game 3, folks, get your GG's in chat, but also get hype. As Pro A007 has finished with an official SRL time of 37 minutes, 58 seconds.